so excited. My name is Shanti Devins. I work for Climate Smart Missoula, and we are a small local nonprofit. And we work really hard to build and accelerate local climate solutions. And as Chloe said, you are in the middle of Climate Solutions Week, so good job for showing up. Um, there's still a couple events happening, and this is the second time ever that we've done this. And we were so delighted to build on what we tried last year. It was really an experiment. And we noticed, like, hey, you know what we're missing? We're missing this, like, creative way to plug into climate, because there is a way for everybody to plug into climate. But why am I here? Why are we doing a fashion show? Well, in one word, it's methane. So much of my life is obsessing about methane. <laughs> so for, for many years, we know about climate change, we talked about CO2 and carbon, and like that, our carbon footprint, like that's like ingrained in us. But it wasn't until recently that we really understood the impact of methane. When you're comparing pound for pound methane and carbon, methane has a 25 times greater impact heating our climate than carbon. The difference is it dissipates from our atmosphere faster. So we still have to address carbon, but we cannot meet our climate goals if we don't also address methane. And so there's some urgency that we think about all the time. And we can still do it. I'm here in a hopeful note. Like, we can definitely get this right. Most of my work obsesses with the built environment. So there's three sources of methane that are linked to humans. One of those is what we pull out of the ground. We're drilling, we're fracking, and then we're, we're piping that into our homes. We call it natural gas. Natural gas is primarily methane. And we use it to heat our air, and some of us cook with it, some of us heat our water. And so we have this program called Electrify Missoula where we help people transition from natural gas appliances to efficient electric ones while we also green the grid. Another bucket that we all connect to methane is in the, uh, the agriculture and the dairy industry. So when we're swapping in plant-based alternatives like that oat milk latte you might see later, that is a way to reduce methane. And then the final bucket is waste and that is where we're plugging in tonight. So when you're driving on the freeway and you're seeing this big stack that's got like stuff coming out of it, that is methane coming from our natural or our um, what is it called? The landfill. That's the word. Coming from our landfill. So when we're sending things to the landfill as it's breaking down, the natural byproduct is methane. So the least waste that we can put in there, the least amount of methane. And one of the ways we can address that is composting in the back and go Marky and Chloe, and also in our fashion choices. Fashion has a huge impact on the environment, and so I'm so stoked to have all of you here today. There's a place for everybody to bring their passion, their joy, and their gifts to this movement. There is a new sign-up sheet. I'm going to shamelessly plug if you want to stay connected to the Climate Smart Missoula and do more rad stuff like this. Please sign up at the back. And just like huge shout-out to Chloe and Marky for making this night happen. Thank you.